you know, one of the things, and I've never like vouched. I know when we put this article out there, people are like, no, 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 you can't start Sabonis and Holmes together. And it's like, no, no, nobody said that. But there might be moments where you could benefit, depending on matchups, if you need a little more size or something like that. Um, it could benefit to playing them together, you know, uh, uh, on the, at the same time, just because, you know, the difference between Indiana, because a lot of people point to the Miles Turner Sabonis thing that didn't work. And it's like, yeah, but this is a little different because Miles Turner is this, is a, is a rim protector, rim protector. He's a big guy as such. He's the center. Sabonis was guarding fours a, a lot of the time. Um, if you have Holmes and Sabonis together, it flips because Sabonis is the far less athletic defender compared to Holmes. Holmes is going to be guarding more modern power forwards if he's forced to do that. And again, it would be a matchup thing, I would imagine. I don't know if you had maybe bigger opponents or a bigger front court that you're going against. Um, so I don't even know how often it would get used, but it's a viable option defensively. And if Len, you know, likewise, if Len is hitting threes, then playing two centers effectively together in that case, though I don't think that would be as frequently used i think len if he's hitting threes would be more of a backup to Sabonis filling in for offensive maybe purposes but even if they were playing together that could give them an offensive edge so it's interesting i mean just kind of interesting to think about but you know it seems like whatever you it's like we we said it's just like whatever you get out of len is just going to be icing on the cake and it, you play the matchups i think in a lot of these situations with bigs but I don't know if you have any thoughts on Rashawn Holmes and that whole situation or what the outlook is on the center situation. I mean, Holmes is the st- second center. He's the second, you know, string center. But I, I don't I think him and Sabonis are going to have to learn how to share the floor together. Um, I don't know. It just seems like, you know, Holmes was a big part of this team. And if you can somehow find a way to get him back into, you know, a decent role next to Sabonis. Um, no, all the better. Um, I'm not saying it's going to happen all the time, but like you said, like Holmes can play that four pretty well. And, you know, Sabonis can play that five. And so it'd be an interesting, um, be an interesting look, but, um, yeah. And just be, just to be clear about Sabonis, it's not, that, I've always said this Sabonis is not, he he's only a defensive liability if he's guarding fours. As a five, he's just like average, maybe a tiny bit below average, but he's average. He's gonna he plays pretty well. He's not like a physically gifted defender, and he's not like exceptional, and he's not like super burly, but he does enough. He defends the paint, just kind of staying in front of guys rather than being a rim protector or like being a hands guy or a physical guy. He just kind of plays in the right positioning. He's a decent defender. So like He's not a bad defender as a center. He's only a bad defender when you need to play him against fours. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That was the big mistake. I just yeah, you know, I and that's know. why that didn't work. Mm-hmm. In India, I don't know. Sorry, it'll be interesting. I, yeah. I'm just, but like you're, like you said, it's like you really do have to get, like, it's gonna be important to have your two, like, not just your two best centers, but like we said, like two of your best players are Sabonis and Holmes. And it, there, there's going to be moments where it would it would be very very beneficial if they can find a way to be effective. And again, it's not it doesn't have to be a nightly dose of that. It's not going to be the starting lineup, but you know, team game and matchups happen, and there'll be certain things that you know Mike Brown will want up his sleeve, right? Yeah, hundred percent. It um, it's yeah, it's a game of matchups and. Mike Brown's a smart guy. He's going to, you know, he, we're going to, I think we'll see some interesting things.